I am Felicia Maloney, the Executive Director of the Columbia Empowerment Zone, Inc. And I am joined by members of my team, Verdine, Xavier, and Eddie, and a few of my board members. If you could raise your hand, we appreciate you. Um, this is the group who assists me in uh, championing economic development initiatives in the city of Columbia. The Columbia Empowerment Zone uh, Development Corporation is pleased to join the city of Columbia, the Office of Business Opportunities, the Economic Development Office, Dominion Energy, and members of the city CPAC committee. I see Mr. Bob here if you raise your hand and Aisha from OBO. We appreciate you in celebrating Economic Development Week in the city. The city of Columbia and communities across the nation know the importance of supporting entrepreneurs and the growth of their small business. We know small business plays an enormous role in the economic landscape of the country and the local and regional community. City departments and the CEZ Development Corporation offers programs to cultivate successful business owners and to assist owners with their financial growth. Today, in honor of Economic Development Week, we will highlight two complementing programs that support small business. The CEZ Brights program, which is the business retro fit incentives through energy savings, and the Office of Business Opportunities CRR program, which is their commercial retention and redevelopment program. Additionally, we will welcome two small businesses to the North Main Corridor in the Huffman House. Thank you for joining us and we appreciate your support. Um, since we're gonna change things up a little bit, um, I'm gonna talk about the Brights program a little more. So uh, Columbia Empowerment Zone traditionally likes to uh, introduce a new program for Economic Development Week. And we're introducing the Brights program which can complement the CRR program. And just to explain that a little bit <laughs> better, the Brights program is a companion program with Dominion Energy. So basically, a uh, small business can get their lights retrofitted to LED um, through Dominion Energy, and Dominion Energy pays 80% of that cost, but then the small business owners are, are responsible for 20% of that cost, and that's where we come in. CEZ will pay the 20% and walk the small business owner through that complicated process of paperwork, <laughs> and uh, so the business owner uh, didn't get to experience the economic benefit from the LED lights. The city gets to promote sustainability efforts and we get to contribute by paying that 20%. And just to give you an example, uh, we used one of our buildings as a little test model. And so we retrofitted a building um, on Lady Street, which is just over 9,000 square feet. And we saw our $200 savings in our light bill the next month. So that's the uh, rights program. And at this time, I'll introduce Councilman uh, Tyler Bailey. Well, good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful morning in Columbia, and I'm here uh, as a pleasure. I'm happy to be here with the Columbia Empowerment Zone and to give remarks about just this important week. And so the city's pleased to join the International Economic Development Council and celebrate Economic Development Week in the city of Columbia and the North Main Corridor. Economic Development Week is a time to highlight the vital role of economic development and what it plays for our beautiful and vibrant communities here in Columbia. Economic developers promote economic well-being, the quality of life for our communities by creating, retaining, and expanding jobs that facilitate growth, enhance wealth, and provide a stable tax base. Today, we are here as a shining ex example of the work from the city's economic development team for the re-grant opening of this beautiful historic house. And I took a walk through this property. I'm pretty sure both of y'all are going to do the same afterwards. It's truly beautiful. Uh, most of the hardwood floors are still original. There's been some updates, but y'all will see that in a second. The recently renovated Hoffman House purpose is to support small business growth on the North Main Corridor. Office space at 4300 North Main is just one example of an impactful small business initiative offered through the city's economic empowerment zone in the city of Columbia. City departments and the Columbia Economic Empowerment Zone um, work collaboratively to drive economic prosperity in our city and region. Jointly, the city's team attracts investment, supports entrepreneurship, heavily recruits and supports business retention, and initiates programs that grow, develop entrepreneurs, encourages workforce development, 
offers loans and incentives, tackles blight, and promotes reuse of structures. Essentially, if you're a small business owner or you're looking to start a business, you should really contact our economic development team, reach out to our Office of Business Opportunities, and look to partnering with the Columbia Empowerment Zone for different projects as you move forward with your business. This week is a time to celebrate the work of individuals and organizations who work collaboratively to improve communities and the lives of people and lives of our communities. We're excited to welcome the following businesses to the North Main Quarter. We have Midlands Choice Home Care LLC. It's a premier non-medical and home care agency dedicated to delivering compassionate and high quality care to residents throughout South Carolina. So for the members of uh, Midlands Choice Home Care, are y'all here? Are y'all present? That's right. Let's give them a round of applause. We also would like to welcome M&A Tax Solutions and Consultants. M&A Tax Solutions and Consultants is a financial consulting firm that provides services such as tax preparation, payroll, notary, and administrative support. And we just passed April, which was tax time. So if you haven't filed your taxes yet, you should reach out to M&A Tax Solutions. I'm pretty sure they can work something out for you. These businesses provide goods and services to our residents and support the city's tax base, and we are thrilled to have them join North Columbia. The Columbia Empowerment Zone and City of Columbia will continue to support small businesses and appreciate their commitment, reinvestment uh, into wealth into our local community. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Denise Ashford. I am the founder and owner of Midland's Choice Home Care. We are a non-medical home care agency, and we provide non-medical services to adults who are aged, blind, disabled, and have limited mobility. We're so excited to be a part of the area and looking forward to continued growth. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm glad to see everyone here. I'm glad to see all of our new businesses. Um, and I'm just excited. We had a city council yesterday and our economic development director said that on North Main Corridor, there is only one available commercial spot. So I love the energy that is coming to this corridor. I'm excited about it. It took a little time to start coming back, um, but I'm excited about it. I'm glad you all are here. Um, and the next step is we're gonna start filling the vacancies. So I'm just glad to be a part of the revitalization of the corridor um, and that businesses are right here and more are coming. So thank you all so much. Thank you, Ms. Felicia and the board members um, for all the hard work that you all do. Thank you, Councilman, um, and our new businesses. Thank you so much.